Hey everyone, welcome to another Minecraft snapshot review. Uh, this is snapshot number 12W38B, and it is actually the, uh, I guess, uh, Mojang released a, um, a second update to their, um, their 12W38 uh, Minecraft snapshot. And this one's actually pretty cool. Uh, they, they did a lot to update uh, a lot of the sounds in the game. So it's, uh, the, overall, the, the, the game is, is, well, it's essentially sounding like a, a much different, newer game. Um, so first off, we'll start, they, uh, we're so, we'll start off with these blocks. Um, they updated the sound of, of the, uh, the block placement for different block types. So uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I actually have my sounds uh, turned way, way, way up. I'm going to go ahead and turn them up even more. So uh, I, I apologize if it's going to be a, a, a little loud, but um, I, I really want you guys to be able to hear the, the differences in, in kind of what is going on when I, when I interact with all of this stuff. So let's get down to it. So the, uh, the wood sound, or it's, it's the, the wood, the sand, the stone, the gravel, and uh, I guess placing plants on the ground. So anyways, I'm just going to let you guys hear it, and here we go. Yeah, so I, I I hope I hope I'm choosing the right plants. Um, you know what? Let's just for just for grins. Let's just see. It is uh, you know, can't I can't really tell a difference in in some of these. Let's what about the saplings. Yeah, those those sound the same. Um, most of the other blocks, like I'm having trouble telling the uh, the difference between the the sounds. But um, I guess they have you know, the it's very very subtle differences. So overall, I mean, it's it doesn't seem like much has really changed in the uh, the sound effects for stuff being placed on the ground. So uh, so th those are the the block placement sounds. Um, the next one is going to be the the sound when you climb a ladder. So I'm, I'm just going to climb up this and let you guys listen in. So it just kind of sounds like, you know, your, your feet and your hands going up the rungs of the ladder. Um, it almost kind of sounds like a saw, like sawing against some wood. I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's interesting. I don't know. I, I'm not a total fan of it, but it, it, it is a nice improvement over the current sound, which is, um, you know, very, very subtle if there is a sound at all. Um, okay. So the next one that I think is really cool is they added a minecart sound for whenever you're traveling on the minecart track. Um, this one I actually really do like, so I'm going to let you guys listen in. Now if you notice, it almost seems like it's actually getting louder the faster and faster you're going. Um, anyways, that for for anyone that is making essentially uh, or doing stuff like this, where you're making like a, you know, a roller coaster or something, um, those sounds are actually really really cool, uh, and I'm really really happy that they added them in. And it is really neat how the the sounds do. They I'm I'm pretty sure they they did seem to get louder uh, the faster you go. So that that is really cool. Um, okay, so the next one is. Uh, sounds uh, of your feet across different materials and uh, if you've been listening so far you'll, you'll, you'll have already picked up the grass but I'll I'll run across each one of these and just let you guys listen in once again so that's sand now we have gravel and we have grass bit softer of a sound. Then we have soul sand. Just kind of sounds like you're sloshing through some weird material. <laughs> and then we have stone. 
just a very very light sound that one almost sounds like what it sounds like currently so i don't really i don't really know what the what the big difference is between that um it also sounds like the when you run across wood sounds like it's a bit more pronounced in in just how it sounds so i don't know um but a according to their their change log uh yeah these are the different materials that were updated with the newer sounds so it could be that maybe in the in the the 12w38b version of the update, maybe they they tweaked the sounds a little bit and um, made them you know not as not as, uh, as as different to what they they currently are. All right, so the next ones are uh, essentially sounds related to lava and water. So lava now has a very distinctive sound. You can kind of hear it just gurgling in there, just you know. It has a very, very distinctive uh, sound. Not, it's not just the popping now. It's the, it's the gurgling noise, and it's actually kind of cool. Um, it, it, it really lets you know uh, when you're when you're deep down in the cave uh, that you are actually getting really close to lava. Because with the popping noises, sometimes it was really, it was, it was really hard to differentiate between that and uh, like a um, a slime jumping around or something like that. So. Um, that that sound is really cool. The next one is the flowing water. So it, uh, I, I guess it, I don't know. It kind of sounds a little, a little similar to what it did before, but maybe it's maybe it is a little different. Um, I guess it would be kind of nice if you know if we did like maybe like back to back comparisons of. Here's what it sounds like currently, and here's what it sounds like in the the new version. Um, I want to say it, it maybe it's a it's a bit more of a pronounced um, like flowing water sound. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's um, it's it's it is different. So um, yeah, and and the the next thing. So those are more like just uh, sort of environmental sounds. Uh, the next ones we're gonna get to. Are uh, they they updated some of the sounds for the animals in the game? So uh, I'm going to start off with the cow because that one to me is uh, sort of the most um, I guess to me the, the, the cow has the the cow has the, uh, the the biggest change in in how it sounds. So I'm going to let you guys listen in once again. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like someone like I don't know did something bad on their violin. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a. It doesn't quite sound like a moo from a cow. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, they added the the huffing noises as well. Um, I don't know. Me growing up in in Texas, uh, I'm I'm very used to the to the way cows sound, um, and that that moos that. <laughs> That moo right there does not sound like a normal moo from a cow. Um, so that one did, but this newer, this newer moo just it just sounds weird. I don't know. I'm not not a big fan of that one. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of you guys because I will admit their uh, their mooing is kind of getting on my on my nerves right now. Um, anyways. So now for the pig, let's see what the pig sounds like. You guys gonna make any more noise? I don't know if it's like maybe just like a, a deeper oink. Uh, but I, I'm having a little trouble telling the, the newer sounds from them. But uh, yeah. All right, we'll we'll we'll, uh, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and purge you guys. Yeah, even the the squeals kind of sound the same. So I don't know. I the pig I, I couldn't really tell. Okay, so the next one is um, basically all the different mobs, um, and I'll save this one for last. Uh, but now we have the the sheep, and whenever you shear the sheep, so let's go ahead and. Did you, did, you, did you catch that? I'll do it one more time. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> it kind of has this like I don't know, like 
clipping of the shears noise, I guess is what, what they want to call it. But uh, that, that actually sounds kind of cool. I, I like the way that sounds. So you guys can, um, you know what, I'll go ahead and purge you guys as well because I'm actually going to need the experience later on to show off a different sound. Um, okay, so next, uh, let me go ahead and grab some fence posts because I need to reconstruct these fences. Uh, all right, so next is the the, the monsters, uh, and for them, I'm going to actually need to enable um, monsters. So let me just go ahead and get all these eggs really quick. And yes, we have a new monster that I will show off as well. Um, all right, so for this one, let's just take it off peaceful. And then we have the Enderman. It sounds a little different. He has like a little bit of an extra chirp to his to one of his noises. Is that it? you gonna say anything anything else? No. Okay. All right. So next is the skeleton. I don't know if it's just like a different bone rattling noise or or what. I can't really tell a difference in, in him. We have the zombie. I don't know. I mean, according to the changelog, it does say that that these mobs got new sounds. So uh, the Enderman I could actually pick up on, but these guys I, I can't really pick up. So let's just see if maybe it's when you hit them. No, that sounds the same. Okay, and did you hear that chime there? Um, I actually gained a level. Uh, that that new chime noise indicates that, that you gained a level, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, it is a bit overbearing, so I kind of wish that they would maybe, you know, tune or turn the volume down on that just a little bit. Oh, I see. So it's when you hit the skeletons that the the noise changed. Yeah, it's a bit more of like a rackety noise. I don't know. So let's see. Did, what about the enemy if I if I hit him? <laughs> No, he just, he does the same thing. Where'd you go? There you are. Well, that sounded a little different. Okay, they are gaining an another level. <laughs> so, yes, so once again, you hear the, the, the crazy chimes. Um, yeah, basically, if you hear a bunch of wind chimes all at once, it means you probably gained a level. So, just FYI. Um... Yeah, so uh, I guess deviating from the sounds and uh, I guess going to some other things that have changed. Um, so the beacon block they changed, uh, it has a bit of a different look to it. It uh, They added some like some, like a decorative blue border. They got rid of the little floating, uh, I guess rotating, um, you know, whatever geometric design in the middle. Uh, and then the, the, the beam of light, instead of it being like this glowing beam of light, it's more of a... Uh, it almost looks like a sci-fi-ish, like laser ray gun thing shooting in the sky. Um, yeah, I, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so that that's the beacon block. Now onto the new mobs that they have added into the games. So you guys have probably heard about these mobs by now, but I, I'll I'll go over them anyways. Um, one of the new ones is the bat, and if you notice, that little dude is kind of just tucked up in that corner, and there should be. Well, maybe the other ones... I don't know where the other ones went. Um, oh, I guess they were on the, the ground. Now, what bats are, are they are passive, or, or non-aggressive mobs. So even if you have uh, monsters uh, turned off, so if you're playing in peaceful mode, um, bats will still spawn in the world, um, and they, don't, they, they won't attack you. And right now, they... Uh, 
they don't really drop anything. Uh, they just take one hit from the diamond sword and they're dead. But um, they're actually kind of cool. I mean, they just fly around. They don't make any noises yet. But I, I would imagine, um, you know, I, me living in, in Austin, Texas, like bats are a really big thing down here. Um, and I've, I've seen tons and tons of them growing up. Um, you know, they, they tend to make a very, um, like a high pitched, you know, chirping noise. It's what they use for their echolocation. So I'm hoping that maybe they add in some sort of like, you know, high pitched noise, uh, for the bats. Um, you know, not, not something that's, that's too intrusive on, you know, for like when you're down in the caves, but, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, once you get, uh, you know, a distance away, the bats will sort of settle down and, and, um, you know, go ahead and roost up on, on the ceiling. Um, I've actually gone down into a few caves around this area and oh, for a second there I thought I heard a, a new sound for that skeleton um, and I've actually found a few bats in these caves so they are they are actively appearing and it, it does give a, a, a really cool sense of adventure going into the caves um, yeah so I know I've, I've heard a lot of reports where people just don't they're, they're not really thrilled with the bats but I actually really like them I, I think they're a really good addition uh, okay so the next one here is going to be the witch. Yes, this is a, a brand new aggressive mob that uh, Mo Yang has added to the game. So I will show you what she looks like. And there she is. She is essentially a villager with a little wart on her nose and a little pointed hat. So, ooh, and apparently, I don't know what those little bubbles were, but uh, basically her, her means of attack is she will throw potions at you. So we are uh, we're gonna we'll, here. Let me uh, let me just test that out really quick by uh, by switching my my game mode. So we'll switch it back to survival. Oh yep, there we go. And she starts attacking me. And let's go ahead and set it back to creative. Okay. So if you notice. The, the witch is throwing just different kinds of potions at me and, and they're doing different things like she gave me some slowness, she gave me some poison. Um, all around she's being not a very nice person. So, uh, and oh, that's new. Ooh. So apparently they updated her loot tables to where she can drop sugar or glowstone. Um, that's that's actually really cool. Um, it, that means that they added in, so aside from trading villagers for glowstone, uh, you can actually find witches and um, basically use them as a means of getting glowstone as opposed to going to the nether and harvesting glowstone, um, which is awesome because uh, before you could trade with villagers and get glowstone, one of the biggest issues in, in, in um, or at least with, with me, was I, I love using glowstone for decorative purposes or creating lanterns, but it's a, it's essentially a fixed resource where you know you would have to go out to the nether and, and harvest a bunch. But uh, but now they're adding in basically more capabilities in the game to be able to get it, which is awesome. I, I, I love that. Um, so yeah, so that is the witch. Uh, pretty nasty, aggressive mob. Um, I don't think there's currently a way to um, to find a witch in the regular game. You can only do it through through creative mode. Um, but uh, I'm I'm guessing that they'll be adding, adding you know, um, adding that functionality in a, at a later time. So um, yeah, I I think that is pretty much it. There's some other uh, some other command uh, or command line updates, um, or rather uh, 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 server commands um, that you can give. But I won't I won't go over those. Uh, I'll let you read the wiki and and figure those out. But, um, but yeah, that, that is pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, if you, if you liked, uh, this, uh, snapshot review, you know, feel free to, to let me know what you, what your thoughts are and, uh, you know, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, I will be bringing more of these in the future and, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So, um, have fun playing Minecraft everyone and I will see y'all next time. Thank you for watching.